yeah, at this point, I mean, I couldn't make, I couldn't make the money I'm making right now going to work for anybody else. Damn, the money's that good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. I mean, I'll be honest. Go ahead. I didn't charge enough. You didn't charge enough? I didn't charge enough. Why didn't you charge enough? And thank you for your honesty. Because... Today, we are following someone who at one point had to have five different jobs to support his family until finally his carpet cleaning business was enough to pay the bills and 12 years later, he's still doing the carpet cleaning business full time. He'll tell you how he got his original customers in the beginning. You'll see how much he makes cleaning carpets in one day, but it's not all good news. Now. He's losing dozens of customers, but just like any real entrepreneur, he has a plan on how he's going to turn that around. So I hope you enjoyed the Raw Long series. And if you want to see more, all I ask is that you watch all the way to the end. And if you want to support the channel even more, I have Amazon links in the description below that if you use and buy anything from Amazon in a short period of time, I'm making my commission, which I use for the gas. So now, let's go get this free nanite knowledge. All right. So it's about 8.15 and we're gonna get some free nanite knowledge on a carpet cleaning business. That's right. I'm always trying to get some free nanite knowledge on new businesses, new ideas, and get some free promotion to the entrepreneurs out there. So I'm right here with the homie Richard. You've been doing the carpet clean business for how long? Uh, since 2004. Do we have a busy day today? It, yeah, I think so. Yeah, how many houses are we gonna do? Just two. Let's go get them, man. Right. So Richard, so I'm assuming the first step is that you measure everything. Measure everything out? And, Ooh. But the next step normally would be we would go and talk to the customer and be like, this is how much it's going to be. And Do you have a rough estimate of how much it's going to be? Or? Well, I got an exact estimate. Yeah. It's going to be 485.60. All right, carry one, you know, plus four hours of labor. I mean, you can't forget about the gas. Am I in the wrong business? But guess what? The next location is paying him thousands. But, of course, for more work. So, Richard, you started your business in 2008? 2007. 2007? 2007. So, you were going hard. You were, And then 2008 happened. The, what was it, the recession? Yep. The uh, bottom fell out of the economy. And what did you do? I hustled. Yeah? Big time. I started cleaning carpet about 8 in the morning. Then I'd work until about 3. And then I would go to the school. And I, I'd clean classrooms at the school until um, midnight. And this, is, this was the hardest part of the whole thing. I had to stay awake from midnight to 1 a.m. because I couldn't get into the newspaper place to deliver newspapers until 1 o'clock in the morning. And I'd end up falling asleep, and then I'd be late to deliver newspapers. So I found that if I just left the school and drove straight over the newspaper place, I could just sit in my car, and if I fell asleep, eventually someone would come out and knock on the window and I'd go in and deliver my papers. And then on the weekends, I got this gig with a, um, a bounce house rental company. <laughs> and I'd go and deliver bounce houses Saturdays and Sundays. And then sometimes on Saturdays, I would DJ. Because that was that was the first business I started, was DJing. Oh, and really? I, uh, yeah, and you're absolutely right, it sucks. Yeah, at this point, I, I, couldn't make, I couldn't make the money I'm making right now going to work for anybody else. Damn, the money's that good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, is the equipment expensive? Like I said before, I started this business right before the economy crashed. And when things were good? Wall Street was going crazy and they were giving anyone money, even people who they shouldn't be giving money to. Oh, man. Bought the van, all the equipment. Right now, Richard is about to tell you how he went from an employee to his own boss, but he did it the wrong way. So, if you want to be your own boss, but you have a full-time job, you are about to get some free nanite knowledge on how to quit your job. You got your start 
because you were working for another company. And then after what? You said three years? Three years. You decided to do your own thing. How was that transition? And was the company upset? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you tell them or did you lie? I, no, I, if, if I had it to do over again, yeah. I, I wouldn't give notice. I would get things rolling and then quit. But I didn't do that. I gave three weeks notice. Three weeks? Three weeks. Oh, you're too nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was way too nice. Yeah. But so then I started calling around trying to get loans. And uh, if I had. So you haven't even started yet. You pull your three weeks and then you start looking for a loan. What would you have done differently? I would have, I would have gotten the ball rolling. Yeah. I would have gotten a loan, I would have gotten things set up, and then quit. But, like I said before, I was working six days a week, 14 hour days. Like, there wasn't time to, to start a business, you know? So, I, I gave my notice and then I started calling around. I called two different uh, mortgage brokers. One of them called me back within a few days. And they're like, yeah, right on, we got you approved. I got a call from the receptionist from the other place. And she's like, hey, I just, wanna, just wanted you to know, uh, someone called here, a loan company called here, trying to verify your employment. And they said that you never worked here. <gasps> what? Yeah. That was the second one though. Was, so you- I already had the money. Oh. It was in the bank. I was already buying stuff. Like, yeah, I was straight. And they said that you never worked there. I never worked there, yeah. Snake. Yeah. Oh man, good thing you, so. Dang. How much was the loan? If you mind me asking. A hundred grand? Then you got proof. That was that was back in 2007. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> so um. Uh, Not gonna do that today. There's a free 99 tip from experience. Get the ball rolling and then quit your job. Yes. No, Richard. No, don't tell me it's over. All right. I was just getting to the good stuff already, man. I was about to jump in. <laughs> You ever have any uh, neighbors complain about the noise before? At night, yeah. At night? Yeah. What would they tell you? Hey, could you turn it down? I mean, you'd be like, nah, I'm working. They'll call. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Richard, what are we doing next? We're going to get some food. Uh huh. And then we're going to go dump the tank. Oh. And then we're going to go hit the really nasty one. Oh, let's go. Richard, what made you become an entrepreneur? You know, why, why not just have a regular job, work for somebody? I'm a terrible employee. Really? Why? Because I don't, I don't like being told what to do. Oh, bro, <laughs> you and me both, man. Let's say somebody want, wants to start their own business. What's, what's some advice you have for them? Start small. Start small. Use money that you've got. Buy what you, what you can. Get the clients that you can. Get the jobs that you can get small and then when the scale tips and you've got more more side business than you've got job that's when you make the you pull the switch there you go you heard it from Richard himself you know instead of just quitting a job today because I mean if you quit a job you're gonna struggle oh, yeah. right because did you struggle building <laughs> well, what were some early struggles that you had I'm assuming getting customers getting customers and then you know just cash flow in the beginning if you yeah. don't have the customers to begin with you got to get them <clears throat> you got to pay the bills while you're building the business oh. um, if I had it to do over again I would definitely definitely build the business while I was working and then quit so Richard has been in business for a long time some of you were still living at your mom's house when he started but back in the day there was no Facebook no Instagram no real social media that you could use to grow your business. So you know what he had to use? Oh man, some ancient technology. I built this entire business on Yellow Pages. It was Really? It was Back in the day? The tail end of Yellow Pages. It's a job we're going to right now. Mm -hmm. We've got this guy from the Yellow Pages 12 years ago. On the flip side of that, I also, since I built my business in the Yellow Pages, an ancient technology so my customer base is really old average age is getting up there they're selling their houses and they're moving to be closer with their kids so in the last couple of years I've lost dozens of customers Ooh. moving out of state 
And so now I'm trying to figure out this whole social media thing to advertise and, and replace those those customers that I've lost. Dang. And you know what? You know what, Richard? We're gonna help you out, bro. We're gonna help, help you Help me out. out. Let me see this dirty apartment. So I'm over here getting some stuff. And this guy over here breaking laws just to say what's up to Reyes. What's up, man? How you doing what's today? Up, man? How's it going, man? Yes, you're chilling. Good, man. I'm, just just uh, saw you at the store right now. I was, I was paying. So Richard isn't just cleaning the carpet. The tenants did the owner dirty. They just left without notice and left the place filthy. Richard's paying the condo, fixing and cleaning the appliances, removing as many things as possible. And guess how much he is getting paid for this job? So Richard, yeah. yo, you put in work in this apartment. Mm -hmm. I thought you were just gonna vacuum it <laughs> and clean it. So what are you doing for? What are you doing here? I am turning this condo around, getting really? ready for the next tenant. And so you're doing the painting, painting, the maintenance, cleaning, maintenance, oh. washing the windows, cleaning the blinds, uh, cleaning the vents. So, how much are you charging this guy for all of this work? For all the work, um, I mean, I'll be honest. Go ahead. I didn't charge enough. You didn't charge enough? I didn't charge enough. Why didn't you charge enough? And thank you for your honesty. Because I'm new to this. <laughs> I'm new to the whole turning an entire unit around. How much are you charging? This one's going to be, when all is said and done, probably about 2500 2500 But you've been doing this for a couple days already. Yeah. Yeah, and most likely finishing today or you coming tomorrow? No, we're gonna have to come back. We're not done yet. Yeah, there you go. Even though Richard has been doing this for a long time, he's still challenging himself, trying new things. And 2500 that's not that bad. Richard, everything okay, man? <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, what happened? The tank got full? Yeah. Nah, Richard, don't tell me we're done already, man. Yeah, we're done. We're done, skis? That's it. Just a, just a few headaches, that was it. A few headaches. So, you guys, that's a day in the life of a carpet cleaning business. But, hey, I appreciate you sharing, giving us your free 99 knowledge. And, Richard, before we let the audience go, what would you like to promote, man? Hit Let's me up on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram. Healthy, clean carpet and tile care. We cover Ventura and LA counties. There well, you go. Not all of LA County, but. <laughs> okay, well, just contact him. Yeah. I'll put everything in the description below. Go show him some love. Yeah, love me. Yeah. And of course, if you like the Ride Along videos, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll see you in my next video.